All right, everybody, welcome back to the Den of Dragons. This is Venka, <clears throat> and we are here today playing some Hogwarts Legacy again, continuing our Let's Play. Um, I am having that. There we go. So, let me tell you just something about this save screen. <clears throat> First off, this thing is moving. The uh, house elf just popped in, and there's and that he'd never done that before. So I think it totally is based upon like what's going on with your playthrough. And that's actually pretty cool. Okay. Here we are. Contra potting table. All right, everybody here. <clears throat> We figured out how to get the leaderboard going, and uh, we got a we got a follower while we were offline, taking a little uh, bio break there. Uh, Matt, Mad Fred, I. So, thanks for following, man. Uh, hopefully, you join in on another stream. Okay, uh, so let's see, Conjure Pottery Table. Uh, we gotta sign more spells. We'll go. I'm gonna take this spell off. I don't want, I don't want that spell to be there anymore. Okay. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go down and that's where I'm gonna put those utility spells like that. So we will put we'll put you there. We'll put you there. Dark card spells. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. All right. So. Oh, that's cool. Seasonal decorations. What do we got? They're locked. Oh, you gotta find them. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so potions. All botanical. Oh, who did it? Oh, oh, Derrigan. I changed those. Chat settings. Oh, gothic. Eclectic. Let's go with gothic. Oh, yeah, I kind of like that. We'll just put it right. Oh, I can change the color on it. Oh, well, that's gotta be purple. Duh. Let's see, L1, R1 rotates. There we go. We'll just put it right there. Oh, oops. How did I change the color? Conjure. Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before. the color from before. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, not blue, Chris. Purple. D. 
Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Well, I guess, okay, I guess it's, uh, I guess the option is to put it, like, right there. I'll probably change it later. Anyways. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook, cranny and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. My character looks like a... Looks crazy. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But <laughs> the room of requirement has its own rules. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. C3 Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Oh, well, yeah. We'd like to go ahead and learn that. Complete the tasks I've given you and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. Okay, we hit level 16, so that means we get a bunch more stuff. But, I saw a uh, uh, tips and tricks video said, oh that's nice, I can just teleport right to it. They said, cannot believe how many beasts you have here. Of these. That gives us the main stats back. What the hell is this? I've more to teach you about transfiguration, if you have a moment. Accio. Apparently, I can't get those ones. All right, she wants to teach me a spell. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Um, okay. <laughs> I have the Moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Oh my god, it's gonna make me waste it my warms stuff. It warms my heart to see your interest in herbology, dare well, I say. Get some of this action going here. Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. I haven't brewed any potions. Alright. Floor decorations. Dick cannot believe how many beasts you have here. Beasts? I don't have any beasts, Deke. I don't want to get your shit together.
What? Seriously? Put it where I, oh my god. It's gonna drive my OCD crazy. You can actually see in the mirrors. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Lumos. Oops, that wasn't what I meant to do. My heart to see your interest in herbology, dare I say, blossom. To the size of an item. I don't, I don't want to do that. I want to alter the size. Oh God, that's ginormous. There we go. <laughs> Can we put it up here? No. Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. Oh my god, there's more. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Try aiming at the floor or at that balcony whilst using the altering spell. Okay, that's cool.
Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit What's of magic up, some years doing? ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? A cool moonlit. What do you guys think? We'll leave it up to the chat. We got one, two, or three. Oh, this is Deke, not Dobie. Listen, cousin. <laughs> We've got one vote for three. Chris Hunt, Durgan. Chris probably fell asleep. Let's. Well, I guess three gets it. All right. I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie. As if I'm in the Forbidden Forest. Welcome to the stream, Red. First sounds. time checking me out. Mm, sounds perfect. Oh, there we go. Oh, am I familiar with you? Hmm. Quite a difference. Do you just of watch course, my you YouTubes needn't or keep something? this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Oh, nice. <clears throat> Yeah, we used to stream Valheim pretty hard right about, right up until the big boys got on it and I couldn't get any views. Oh, the room is much bigger than that little tiny room it was given me. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Oh, I kind of like the dark look. Okay, we need to go through and take out all of the... Okay, where? Where's the rest of those rooms? Oh, they're there. Well, welcome to my YouTube, uh, or my uh, Twitch, I should say. Uh, kind of rebranding and doing everything over here. Uh, we've been live through the last four days. Probably be live again tomorrow. Have some fun with the old uh, Hogwarts.
what the heck. But yeah, if you want to stay uh, up to date and you want to hop in on any of the streams and everything, uh, drop a follow on there, man. We're trying to hit a, hit our goal and get up there to that uh, to the uh, affiliate. I think we've got enough followers, but you know, you know how it is. Oh, I didn't want to get rid of that. Oh well. I just want the pictures gone. If you watched our YouTube, our uh, Valheim, you know we get pretty crazy on this channel. We're going to be doing a lot of the forest, or Sons of the Forest, I should say, here, as soon as that comes out. Oh, what? I can change the wall colors, too? Oh, heck yeah. Oh, Sons of the Forest. Yeah, we're going to go hard on that game. Right, Derrigan? Yeah, it looks, it looks pretty good. Yeah, hey, appreciate you stopping in, bro. Uh, don't forget to leave that follow so you get notified when we go live, and and I uh, hope to see you again soon. Ah, oh, there you go. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Oh, cool, I did do it all the way in here too, right? right on. Ah, I dig it. Our plant grew too. Oh, whoa. Little rain count. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that was cool. Alright, I wonder if that means we can make a potion. We can. So now we gotta go to that place and get the the big ones. And they're gonna, we're gonna have to move our goal up a little bit here soon. You know, Libra. Well, I think it looks cool as fuck. Oh, ooh, oh, wait a minute. Are stairs a separate thing? Let's change that.
All right, now we gotta go get stuff. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Hmm, sounds perfect. Let's see what they all look like. Hmm, not as much. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to be warm and comfortable, <laughs> as if I'm inside floating a inside a mug of butterbeer. Oh, sounds perfect. Yeah, the dark one is definitely the best. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to feel mysterious. Oh, sounds perfect. Yeah, I like that one. All right, we out. Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you brewed. got going on now. Oh my gosh, more potions. Or just a broom. Stunned longer, a new spell set. Yeah, I'm not good at that. Down with that. That sounds good, but that would mean that I have to actually use the stuff, <laughs> which I'm horrible at doing. I think I'll save them for my dark arts. What do we have here? Oh, oh that looks cool.
That's so much to collect. Off on another adventure, are we? Yes, yes, I am. What Over up? here. What up, Sebastian? Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. <laughs> nice. <laughs> This way. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Sebastian's not even going with me. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play Govstones here all the time. With my sister. Revelio. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone, but he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I know Ominous. Met him in our common room. I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Oh, he is Ominous blind. was born okay. blind and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. <laughs> Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to. Away from prying eyes. And even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. The Blasting Curse. Professors kill. say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. <laughs> but you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Yeah, more spells. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. <laughs> I 
It's a Z snap, Durgan. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendia. Oh, I got my spells messed up. This should be blank. You don't get the reference. Good for you. Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. That's it. I think I've got it. Oh yeah, I like that spell. Well done. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. I've been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall <laughs> look forward to it. Cheers. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. <laughs> I'll tell you what I can. <laughs> Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. You must Let's promise to truth. keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? <laughs> Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. All right, that was cool. Oh, I, you know what, I think I'm gonna... 
Aber I'm just gonna teleport and go get a broom, I think. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there! I can hear you! Oh, uh, hello, Ominous. I was just heading to our common room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the Headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Hello, Ominous, jerk. I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Good times. Oh wow, I have no... I'm seeing I've discovered something in the locket we found at Green God. I don't know, that's over. I'm seeing these things kind of return from a rather unproductive trip. Hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. Oh, I bet that unlocked a story quest. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we're getting closer to the levels. Nothing. I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. You should hear Shard talking about divination. <laughs> Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. A pity I was so close to solving it. Get good, you scrub. have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! So Derrigan, who does it have as viewers in the chat?
Oh man. Always getting rid of my money. So it says there's three viewers, so you and who else? Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Oh, I thought you had a way of checking that. I'm trying to do. Ah, oh, new face. <laughs> Wonderful. Revelio. Yes, we're here for your stuff. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. Oh, I presume you're weird. in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be I pleased. They're all exceptional, both 5, in quality 000. and performance. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close, Spint Witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals are overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms <laughs> on your back. No easy feat. Right then, awkward. back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. Yew weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the yew wand's darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Sounds quite the array of brooms. <clears throat> I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Well, first, let's sell the things that we don't want. Nice doing business with you. Oh, whoa. oh, these have got. They've got traits in them. Thanks for stopping by. 
Hope to see you again. Oh, that's cool. Imperial target does. Imperial is the fire spell, right? Decreased damage taken from trolls, okay. Oh, oh shit. You know what? You know what the game needs? Ooh, look at that. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. Here we go. He's a sleepy boy. You know what it needs is it needs a... Uh... What? That's not what those were. There we go. It needs like a, a, a one button that changes your whole outfit. You know what I mean? Okay. Now what are we looking for today? I think we're getting a lot more trade from the Hogwarts students than Quidditch for nothing else. with a fiery temperament. What is it? Ember Dash. A spring is built for stability. A set of spring with a light touch. Quite literally. When you find a good opportunity, I'm gonna go with this one. You'll be oh, thrilled with that broom, it. I promise you. That item is of the highest quality. Oh, well, it's too bad I can't preview the one that I bought. I wonder if I can. Nope. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go on. Well, yeah. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. Oh, hell what yeah. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Nice. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Oh, 
Oh, no flying areas. I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. All right, I need to go to the... Okay, now we're right down here. Dun, dun. Just let me know if there's some Revelio. left we're looking for. Let's look at what we have, shall we? All right, this is what I was looking for. Peace, Peter, no. Stopping, stopping station. I don't know what that does. Potting table with two large pots. I think that's the one I want. Yep. Nothing like finding just the right thing, and is there? Potting potion table. T-shaped potion. I thought they both cost three thousand. Popping pot. Here we go. That magical little pot will periodically brew a randomly selected potion. I think that's what it was. T-shaped find. This has it says like three. Let's go with that one. Nothing Let's like finding just the right thing, is there? Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. See if we can't find some more money around here and come back and finish it off so we can. Rebellion. There are two pots. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? How do I get those two chests? Come on in. How do I get to those two here. chests? Revelio. And when you get a second level of this, it, it goes way out there. Millions of leeches. Leeches for me. Revelio. Your money. Rebellion. That thing is way too close. Huh. 
I don't know where it's at. Revelio. Oh. Oh, I bet that one's for whatever this one is. Lumos. Yep. Hogsmead, here I come. Man, that thing really goes out there. Okay, well, apparently that doesn't work. Revelio. Look at all the locks everywhere. all the free ones I can get. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Revelio. Let's get the last of the things. Am I going the right way? This town confuses me. And it's like one road, so it really shouldn't confuse me. Took a left at Albuquerque. My bad. Ah, it's always nice to see a familiar face. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? A pleasure doing business with you. Let me know if there's anything else I can do.
Oh no. C click on that. Where's the room of requirement one? I thought I had a room of requirement one. I didn't see secret rooms. Where, where do I click that at? screen. Where are you seeing that? Oh, see, okay, secret rooms. Oh, okay, okay, I see. I didn't realize you could click those. That makes it much easier. Things you only learn after 15 hours of play. <laughs> Is there no button for me to get onto my room? It's a tool. Oh, there it is. Rebellion. Yeah. 
if it isn't Slytherin's newest broom talent. Hello, Imelda. How <laughs> be weak sent me? <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his oh, broom well, upgrade, no doubt. Eyes. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me, Slytherin Quidditch captain, jealous of you. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You can't be what passes for Slytherin these days. Pfft, ragged old hats dropping at standards. Enough of this. <laughs> only one way to find out who's the better flyer. Here we go. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Slytherin. Can you tell me more about these courses? St stalling, fifth year. <laughs> Fine, I'll humor you. This course demands focus. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. The others test stamina. Three courses in all, built ages ago by former students. Since Black cancelled Quidditch, it was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again. Got the whole school hungry to compete. So... Let's see what you've got, fifth year. This chick's kind of a bitch. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Oh God. Okay. Uh, probably not gonna get anything this time around. Made it. Brilliant. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh god. All right, it might be a little out of control here. Yes, it counted. I'll take it. Oh, okay. This will take some getting used to. Something's. Right. This is not fly the way I fly. <laughs> yeah, she was. I gotta. I gotta change the settings here. Excellent. 
What is that axis? That's right. Made it. Something is just not right. She's gonna talk some serious shit now. Watch this. Glad to see I'm still the reigning champion. Yep. But what yeah, say you? Want to try again? Perhaps later. I have other things to do. <laughs> I hope one of those other things is practicing your flying. It actually is. Well, I figured out what the problem is. Problem is, it's got the up and down on the right thumbstick instead of that just being the camera. And so I'm instinctively pressing up and down to go up and down on the left thumbstick and it's like that's what happens when I press down okay so is there any way to change that
it. Still up for that broom contest? Of course. I'm just surprised you returned. <laughs> Where was your courage hiding? A vanishing cabinet? Let's see what you've got. Takes a bitch. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. So, yeah, the, the problem is, is that most flying games... Okay, I've got to use, uh... Gotta use two two sticks to uh, see like get it done better. The up down is what's killing me. It. Oh, missed that one. Missed one. I guess I got it. Success. Oh, I smoked that bitch. That wasn't too bad. It's just, it's just awkward. It's really awkward. Fly, when you're trying to fly like that, like if you're just flying around, you're probably fine. But when you're trying to do like things like that, it's got a real awkward feel to it. Ugh, that's not, you, you must have cheated, you, ugh. Fine, you won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Challenge accepted then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. Oh, damn, 132. Well, let's just fly there. So, right? So, Derrigan, so the, the problem is, so you're flying, right? And you're up down is the left thumbstick. And your right left is the right dump stick. Now normally maybe that's what I need to change. I don't know. So the problem is is that those are your camera. Your left dump stick is your camera. So it's like if you move left or right it messes with you. It's just it's just really weird. Side note, much funner than teleporting. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little awkward. Oh man, can I get any of those plants? 
Revelio. My joystick staying connected. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little awkward, but I'll probably, I mean, I'll probably get used to it. You know how I am with flying. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? But hey, we can get some upgrades and go from there. Oh, you're back! We've something to report, I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? No, oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways, worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine, says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. Siesta, and where baby. would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smevik had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm, how to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Okay, so up Hogwarts Secret Rooms. Oh, and then that. Oh, oh, I can teleport to the left here, but nice. We have requirement travel. All right, let's get these constructs down. I'd like to ask you about changing. Of course. Actually, perhaps another time. Dressing screen, oh my god.
How many of these can I make? Oh, I can make three. Okay. Oh, these take 20 moonstones for each one. Holy cow. Oh, but I can make up to seven. That's cool. Periodically produce fertilizer. Hopping station that periodically produces plant ingredients. Oh, that's okay. So that's like the 30 moon cents for these. Oh my gosh. I love the little rain clouds, that's awesome. <laughs> Alright. But for 3k, you can make three of those. Huh. Alright, guys, well, with that, I think I'm gonna call it a night. Uh, we will be back tomorrow. If you are on YouTube, make sure you uh, drop that like and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Appreciate everybody's time. You guys have a wonderful night. This is Venka from the Den of Dragons.